It's a life of hustle and survival. I remember when my, my ninth grade teacher asked me, Lisa, what do you want to be when you grow up? And see, I have to fight the Harlem Crip 30s every day to get home from school, so I looked at her and said, alive. I took an English class, I got a fail in English. And my English teacher said in front of the entire class, Lisa, you have to be the weakest writer I've ever met in my entire life. Don't worry, my story ends good. Don't feel sorry for me. I got seven under my belt. And then the same year, my speech teacher said, after giving me a D minus, I knew I, I knew I had an A in speech. Like, come on. He obviously didn't agree with me. He gave me a D minus and said, quote unquote, Miss Nichols, I recommend you never speak in public, that you get a desk job. So here's the beauty of that story. Other people's perception of you ain't none of your business. Everything you've ever been through, set through, rose through, cried through, prayed through, everything is a setup for your next best season. And the way you forgive the perceivingly unforgivable, the way you love the perceivingly unlovable, the way you accept what seems to be unacceptable, the way you embrace after you've been betrayed, the way you do that is the way you will lead us. Your light belongs to everyone who'll be illuminated because you were bold enough and obedient enough to let your light shine. Yes, 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 yes. And every time you cross someone's path and they can't handle your light, you know those people that they try to give you reasons why you should tone it down a bit. That they would tell Cheryl not to sing so loud. Right, right, right. They would tell me to shut up in class. They tell you you're kind of strange. You know those people, dream snatchers, vision busters. Don't be mad at them. They can only love you to the capacity in which they're able to love themselves. Don't be mad at them. Don't be mad at them. Pray for them. Love them. Because they're dealing with themselves like we're dealing with us. But I want you to remember that your 70 watts, your 70 watts has to be turned way up. Because you got way more to give us. It ain't over yet. Don't put a period where God put a comma. And when you turn it up to 159 watts, you know, you keep turning it up. You like, you stop dimming your light. You say, today is the first day of the rest of my life. You turn it up. You're going to find people that can't handle your light. And before today, you might have dimmed your light. You might have shrunk a little bit. You might have tempered it down a little bit. But after today, I want you to see this. After today, turn the lights up. After today, you don't dare dim your light. As your light gets brighter, as your light gets brighter, you're going to disrupt some people and they're going to tell you your light's too bright, your light's too bright, your light's too bright, your light's too bright. Then you just look at them and say, well, I'm not dimming my light. I'm just going to hand you some shades. 